Hey guys, this is Alex, and this is actually going to be my Road to 10 Bill series. Um, I know it's been a really long time, so I do apologize. I mean, <laughs> I'm a full-time student and full-time at work, so, you know, any extra time goes to trying to relax. Uh, so I hope some of you guys can understand me on that one. But anyway, I apologize for any mess-ups as far as the commentary goes. It's been a long time. But, like I said, this is the Road to 10 Bill Merching Series. I almost said 2 Bill. Um, I want to let you know ahead of time that I made it, and I actually made it quite a bit past 10 Bill. Um, but this was recorded six months ago, maybe even more. So, again, I apologize. Um, if you guys want to thank anybody for me actually putting this out there, you can go to Alex Sprite's channel. Um, I'll put a link up. But he's the one who made me do this. Anyway, so what do you guys need to know about merching? Um, first of all, I have my first merching series. Also, try to pay attention for these uh, the clips and everything. But I had my first merching series was Road to Two Bill, and uh, I made obviously Two Bill. But I, I uh, made a few videos that had some tips in there. A few of those tips were buy low and sell high. That's the first merching tip. It's pretty much the only one you need to know, but um, it kind of couples with this next tip, which is learn the market prices. What I did in this video, um, I recorded it during the time when unique potential scrolls and 50% uh, chaos goodness and all those things. Um, I recorded it when those were all very common during the event, which is le kind of leads me to my third tip. You have to use events. That is the quickest way to make money. Whether it is a uh, you know a maple event, or if it's a gadgetpon event, or uh, what was it? In this case, it was the the wheel event thing. Oh wait, no, that what that didn't even happen yet. Uh, the Marvel wheel or whatever that didn't happen yet. But use that. Use all these events, and you can make a ton of money. So um, one thing that you guys also can know basically is uh, not to concern yourself with uh, don't concern yourself with making so much money too quickly. Um, best way to go when you have no money, you need to kind of start out. Oh yeah, and let me see. Hold on. I think I made like one bill in this video already. Um, started out, bought unique potential scrolls. They were they were selling for like a bill at the time, so I bought it for like I don't know anywhere from. I think I got one for like a hundred mil uh, later on in the series, all the way up to like seven hundred mil. But either way, it's a really quick profit to just resell it. So um, that's what you're seeing there. But um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. No, I don't know. Anyway, so don't concern yourself with making too much money. If you have a small amount of money, um, you can do quests. You can do stuff like that. Um, I made a another video called How to Make Mesos. It's just very short. Uh, it might not be so accurate anymore. So... Maybe what I'll do is um, download MapleStory again because I don't have it right now. But um, I'll download Maple again and I'll try to find out the quickest way for you guys to make some money. Um, I'll try to do that soon because this is video number one, but it's going to be a four part series because I recorded like, I don't know, countless hours, countless, countless hours of trading. Um, I was in the free market every day for. I don't know, seven days probably, and made it up to 10 bill, but that was like four to six hours, maybe even more per day, just in the free market, spamming and barely checking shops. Um, there's a couple different methods for merching, just so you guys know. Um, you can either run through the FMs like a million times a day, and you'll find somebody who doesn't know what their prices are, especially people that gatch a lot, because people hate spamming in the free market so if you just walk around through all the FM rooms and you check every shop you know whether it's like every 15 minutes or whatever you want to do uh, you will find people that sell stuff for really cheap and it's even like for better deals than I get sometimes because they just see the item they're like ooh it's a unique potential scroll maybe that's worth like three times as much as a normal potential scroll you know what I mean um, <clears throat> so that's one way to do it and then of course, you know, to recognize the deals, you're just going to have to realize when they're there, so you're going to have to know the prices. Um, so just, the way I learn prices is I take about a day 
um, maybe like a couple hours and just go through the free market, check FM stores, and then I also see what people are spamming for. Um, and if you want to be a jerk, you can like trade people and be like, how much are you selling that for? And then like cancel trade on them if you want to. But um, I don't really like to do that because then they get pissed off. I get pissed off. Um, so yeah, you have to learn your prices one way or the other. Um, I apologize to everybody who like messages me saying like, do you have the price for every single mastery book and stuff like that? Um, I mean, it's it's just hard to try to put together a list of mastery book prices because they change constantly. And also, if you find the right person, you can get more than you know than what the price technically is and stuff like that. So it's it's all about patience and as far as mastery books go I mean I'm pretty sure they're gonna be obsolete soon if they aren't already um, but yeah so um, I don't recommend mystery mastery book runs anymore because even Maple Warrior is you know too too cheap to try to make up for profit but if you guys don't know what a mystery mastery book run is uh, you buy the mystery mastery books those little great books are in the free market you double click it and hope to get a good book and then um, in my first merching series I did that quite a few times actually and I usually got profit but that was just because a new class had just come out and there was no other way to get the books and I kept getting like good books for them so again I don't recommend it anymore um, but you can do it if you want to also um, kinda up to you whether you want to sell or use them if you find them in in the open but uh, another thing like what I'm merching right now. Another good thing to merch are chairs because, well, hmm, I guess I should say that with caution because uh, ever since the last Marvel Wheel event and also the Gatchapon event, pretty much every chair is worthless. So if you're going to merge chairs, make sure you get them for very, very, very low. But at least at the time when I was making this video, merging chairs was a good thing to do. And I did make a lot of profit off of them. Um, but um, I guess that leads me to another tip for merching is to be open to a wide variety of items. Like you can literally make money on just about anything if you get it for the right price. Because somebody's going to want it, whether it's what you're looking for or whether it's a... It doesn't have to be a chair, it doesn't have to be a gadgetpon item. Those just kind of help because they're more popular. But if somebody trades you with like a uh, a level, I don't know like a reverse weapon that's you know unequipped but it's unique already or something like that like you can buy that get it for cheap and then resell it to somebody because it will sell but um yeah so you have to know your prices you have to you know be open to a wide variety of items you've got to um, you know be patient spamming in the FM is a great way to do it uh, it takes a lot of time but it also um, you know keeps you up to date on things because um, you'll get to see prices around you and everything. But uh, what you're looking at here is I'm setting up my shop. I started the day with like 1.2 bill or something, and now I've got three potential scrolls, three unique potential scrolls, seven, you know, chaos goodness, stuff like that. Um, so <laughs> I made a ton of, of profit the first day, actually, uh, when these things were coming out because people didn't know what they were worth. Um, so when you're merching, a lot of people will call you a jerk because in a sense you are ripping people off. Well, no, you're definitely ripping people off. Some people call it scamming. I don't think it's scamming, um, but if you're going to be a merchant, be a nice person, I guess I should say, because um, if you're going to be you know, taking all that profit from people, there's no reason to be a jerk about it as well, you know? If you get a good deal, don't go back to them and be like, haha, it's worth, you know, two bill and you just sold it to me for ten mil. Stuff like that. Just like try to give them a fair offer. You'll actually see somewhere in one of these videos this guy tells me that I can buy his uh I don't know, like an advan or a unique potential scroll for fifty mil and then I ended up giving him five hundred but just because I felt bad. Um not telling you to do that, but like if you're gonna make profit, you know you don't have to be a dick. Excuse my language. Um, so yeah, that's that's as much as I can think of for this one video, uh, as far as talking and everything. So I guess I'll just go along with whatever's happening in the video right now, which hopefully is a trade for an Empress bow. Now, um, 
Empress equips are a great thing to merchant as well, just because they're like the lower echelon of the uh, the high level equips, and so they're more affordable, which is good because then you'll have a wider variety of buyers. But also, um, they're pretty darn common, so somebody can get them and not know what it's worth, and then you'll just buy it from them, and then be able to turn around and sell it to somebody. Now, like I was saying with the uh, with the mastery books, you can pretty much, I mean, somehow set set the price on these because um, even if they're not worth what they're worth in the video right now, because I haven't been on in a while, um, merching is pretty much a universal thing. Like you can always merch. Um, anyway, you can see I'm up to four bill, four point eight bill in the video, but you can always merch. Um, doesn't matter what the item is or what the current price was or anything like that. You've always got room to make money, and the methods pretty much stay the same. So, thanks for watching, guys. This was number one. Um, just kind of pay attention to some tactics in the videos. There's going to be three more coming out, uh, and that's pretty much it. This is Alex from Alex and Kenny. I thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and thank you for the patience, and uh, I'm at the very least going to upload the rest of the series for you guys very soon. So, thanks. Love you guys. Have a nice day. Bye.